Hello, Gemini. It's Melody from Ladies Way Tarot. Now coming to do your weekly reading for the week of 9-18 through 9-25-2017. The cards I am using today are Oracles of Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, so I feel like somebody is looking for something, but they just can't find it, okay? So maybe some of you might be looking for love, but you can't find it. All right, Gemini, 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 love reading 9, 15 through 9. 25 2017 sorry i feel like i just had to do that all right so somebody is trying to find strength in their self this week self strengthening all right sorry Ugh. guess i should have did that first all right inner peace okay okay it's, it's not looking too good for a situation what is this Mm. So somebody trying to find inner peace with their self because um seems like your friend's been talking crap about you. Maybe work buddies, something, but somebody is definitely throwing what they say sh shade on you. It seems like, um, wow, I just felt the biggest, greenest cloud of jealousy I ever felt in my life. So it seemed like, um... You're trying to find inner peace because it seems like your friends is talking crap about your relationship. They may be telling you that somebody don't love you and is burning you inside. But it seems like this person just may not. They just may not love you as much as you love them. I can't say not at all. But it seems like um, this is becoming a burden to you. I feel like you're starting to believe this. You're really starting to believe that this person didn't, don't love you, but it's because of these nasty little friends. You're not seeing this person for what he is. I mean, and they are not seeing it for what it is, too, because I feel like you only tell them the negative stuff that's going on. And now, you know, you feel like it's a burden to tell them anything because they, they that's all they know. Like, even if you tell them the good stuff, all the bad stuff, it just eats it all up. And it seems like they do the same thing with you. Like, when you say that this person did something good, they rebuttal it with bad stuff. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, basically, they saying that this person is using you. I mean, if this person don't make as much money as you, and sometimes people just can't are not as caring as we might be. You know, so, I mean, but you know when you're getting used, this person may be using you and they just like, hey, this, but, but they're not doing it in a good way. They being um, facetious. They not, they not doing it because they're your friends. They doing it because they jealous of you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like your person might be doing, but you're doing more. All right. So I read these straight out the book. To ensure you get your full message. God. Okay. So, it seems like. Here go the lover's card again. It came out sideways this time. Um, you're going to make this person leave you. They come in. They love you. And then they don't love you. That's why I really couldn't read this card. Because I'm like, usually if it's reversed, it's just straight up they don't love you. But I didn't get that. I got that um, they don't love you all the time. And this sideways confirms that to me. That um, this person is in and out of love with you because you're letting this negative people come and put burdens on your life, you know? You're going to make them run away. That was that five of uh, swords. You're going to make them leave you, okay? Mm. Wow. So for some of you, you got exes. Your exes are your friends, and, and they are these dirty people spitting venom on your new relationship, of course. Of course, they're going to be jealous. They're not just jealous of you. They're jealous of the person that you with. I wouldn't treat you like that, baby. Kind of, whatever. All right. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on for the Gemini for the week of 918? Gemini, 918 through 925, 2017. 
Gemini, 9, 18 through 9, 25, 2017, love reading, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay. Yeah, somebody is working hard for something. Let's see. See, your, your ex is at hard at work right now. Wow. So, I don't know. This ex could have left you for a third party or you left somebody for a third party. But I did see that revenge. So, maybe they just sit back for revenge. Okay. There it is again. Trying to weasel his way back in. Or her way, whatever. So we got the seven of coins first. It's up right. It says, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Don't let the money imprison you. That makes me feel like, I mean, I'm going to just put it in the aspect of this. You know, a friend's. You know, friends are good sometimes, but sometimes they can, you know, ruin you. You know? They're supposed to be a way out of your negativity. They're supposed to be more optimistic. They don't supposed to uh, beat you down, you know? And then if they beat you down in the past, that means that they're no good. Your friends just don't treat you right. They'll stop messing with you before they um, say something or do something wrong to you, you know? All right, nine of cups, but this ain't your friend. All right, nine of cups, nine of cups. It says, after much work, you will be rewarded for your efforts. Be careful not to appear both full and vain. Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes me think about this card. Like, I think at this point, you're starting to find yourself and think about the situations of what happened. It seemed like, just looking from this now, this person might have left you for somebody who was easily to give away stuff. You know, you I don't feel like you was just pouring out to everything this person needs, and that's what they left for. But let's keep going. We have the three of staffs, and it says... Now is the time to work hard for what you want. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. Others may bring you news of advancement. Okay. So this in regards to love to me is like, if you want it, work hard for it. You know, these people are going to try to, these friends of yours, It seems like if you do break up, it might be another relationship or a situation that's going to be better. But I feel like it's going to be new from the ex and from the person that you with now. And you might have spoiled this one. So it might be time to, like, move on and leave these two here and go off with another one, you know? I know, but you do need rest. You need to go treat yourself. All right, let's see. Four of coins reverse. Interrupted movement, tardiness to op uh, obstacles. So it's like, yeah, you don't know what to do here. you like stuck in a brick wall, you know. It's like your friend's on one side, and then you got the, uh, the partner on the other side. It's just like, what do I do, you know. It's like the, you got, the, uh, yeah, just too much. All right, five of swords. Five, five, five. All right. It may be time to limit your losses. Nope. Um. It says utter shame. Yeah, it's a shame. You know, you, you everybody that's supposed to be there for you is behind you. And this person don't like you because this, I mean, not don't like you, but this person is on your back because this person and that person is on your back about that person. It's like whatever way you go, there's nothing there. So it's the, this card right here. Uh, the overall card is a card of decision and consequences, moving away from people or environments, letting go. So this makes me feel like the drop them to and go take off to something new. Something new. I mean, this, this diaper is soiled. Time to move on. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up other than that. Have a wonderful week, guys.